Hi, this is Dr. Patrick Cohn with KidsSportsPsychology.com. Today I have a short video on helping young athletes cope with frustration in sports. In this video, you'll learn the number one reason why kids get frustrated. You'll discover why kids shut down after mistakes, the fastest way to help kids cope with mistakes, and why one simple strategy can help your kids have more fun and deal with some of their emotional uproars or tantrums. We've surveyed thousands of sports parents and 40% or more of the sports parents say that their kids struggle with this issue. Here's a prime example. My 14-year-old son has such high expectations for himself. If he does not hit the golf ball perfectly or if he strikes out at baseball, he gets angry with himself. Here's another example. My 11-year-old son loves football, baseball, and basketball. However, when he plays baseball, he gets emotional whenever something negative happens. When he has an, an out at bat, he breaks down crying. He even gets upset after a strike is called on him. These are very typical scenarios of what we're hearing from sports parents and coaches alike. What predisposes kids to have challenges with emotional control and dealing with frustration? Well, number one is high expectations, and that's going to be the focus of this particular video. Highly competitive athletes that hate to lose, highly motivated athletes, athletes that want to perform perfectly, we call those perfectionists, athletes that have a need for approval from others, and athletes who it becomes a learned behavior from people around them, such as parents and What are expectations? I define expectations very specifically in terms of preconceived beliefs or notions that athletes have about how they should perform. They're often demands that they have on their performance. I need to perform perfectly. I can't make any mistakes. I shouldn't make any double faults today. They lead to judgmental behavior. In other words, athletes with high expectations are constantly judging their performance based upon what they expect to do or what they think others expect them to do. And when expectations aren't reached, kids get really angry, frustrated, have tantrums, and shut down. Why? Because they, they're not performing up to their preconceived beliefs or expectations of how they think they should perform. And thus, they shut down, have tantrums, and cry. To help kids cope with mistakes, let's talk about my number one formula for success. First, you have to uncover unhealthy expectations. We'll talk about each of these steps in a moment. Number two, you have to let go of the expectations or help kids let go of their expectations and instead replace them with small objectives or manageable goals. And finally, you want them to have confidence without the judgments that come with expectations. First, stop the shoulds. When athletes have expectations, they have shoulds. I have to get a hit every time at bat. I should get a hit. I should hit the ball perfectly. Every shot should be on net. Those are the I have to, I need to, I must, I should. That's what's called absolute thinking in our work. And when they have absolute thinking, they often price in perfection. In step two, you want to help them rid themselves of the expectations by helping them uncover what they are. What demands do your kids have about the quality of their performance? In other words, how well they hit the ball, how well they pass the ball, how well they shoot the ball. The outcome, not only the win-loss, but also a smaller outcome for a baseball player could be getting a hit. How other people should behave and finally, they have expectations they feel from people around them. Step three is to set smaller, more manageable goals. I call these manageable goals or mini goals, or we can use the term objectives. 
So instead of, I have to get a hit every time at bat, which we know is not a good goal and not a good focus for athletes, instead we talk about easily obtained objectives or mini goals for them to focus on one pitch at a time, something they can do in the process, to throw quality pitches, and you can define what quality pitches are, or just to focus on the target. These are small objectives that help kids execute their particular sport one shot at a time, one pitch at a time, one play at a time. This particular video is previewing a new program that we have coming out very shortly called the Compose Sports Kit, a seven day plan for helping young athletes cope with frustration. What's unique about this program is that it's two programs in one. There's a workbook for kids and an athlete's training CD. In addition, there's a training manual for parents and coaches along with their own CD program. So I train you as the parent or coach how to help kids with this. However, some kids like to work at their own pace and therefore you can give them the program to do on their own as well. This program will be available March 5th. It's a two CD program with two workbooks, one for the parent and one for the athlete. In the meantime, what you want to do is grab a free report at youthsportpsychology.com. 10 tips to improve confidence and success in young athletes. And when you grab the free report, what we'll do is we'll email you the moment we have our new program out. Okay, thanks for joining me. I'll talk to you soon.